Hey, what's up guys, this is Val. In this video, we're gonna be comparing the best car iris shaders for that studio. And with me today is this beautiful car, which is called Amadenzor version two. I think I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. And as lighting and background using Cake and Bob's, uh, one of their beach um, settings. And this is a beautiful car, right? And we guys, and some gals obviously love cars, right? And we want them to look great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna compare a few shaders and the answer might actually surprise you. I was kind of blown away. So here's our car and let's jump right into it. So the first one we're gonna be testing here is called, it's called your MMX car paint shaders for iris. And well, upon looking at the images here, it looks pretty good, you would say, right? And I mean, promo renders often look very good, but the real thing is how do they actually perform when we go in a real set? So let's go and do that. So here's our car and let's locate this. When I first set the surfaces, all these numbers zero one towards here, 13C of the is the car paint. And now I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna look at here. We got shaders, shader presets, iRay, and then we got this MMX car here. And there's three versions, glossy, matte, and metallic. Let's start with metallic. And let's select the red, candy red. Immediately upon loading this, I just think, wow, it's very ref reflective, right? And well, the car paints I've seen doesn't reflect that much. Even though they are metallic, the reflection should be more on the top of the car or away from the camera rather than to, to the front of the camera, right? So this looks, well, it looks gorgeous as a car paint, but it has a lot of reflection going on here and a car paint does not behave like that. So I thought maybe this is just the ones, the one thing, right? So I was testing this around and they all behave the same. It's very, very intense, you know, all over. It's like the car becomes brighter all over. And I, well, I kind of dislike that. It's like the car loses its impact and contrast. So we went to matte. What happens with matte? I personally dislike matte colors on cars, but there are some people that love it, so why not? These don't look good at all. I just dislike them altogether. So this just looks like a plastic. That's how matte cars look like. So, and the glossy is well the most kind of common if you want car paint, right? But again, upon loading, it just feels like everything looks very bright, all right? So let me disable the um, selection here so we can actually see the car. And comparing this to the original, I think the original looks better, right? So I'm not really. 100% convinced. I mean, it looks good, but there's something off with it. It just reflects way too much here and just doesn't feel right. But it's a beautiful paint, that's for sure. But the reflections are not really there for me. All right, so let's go now and choose the other contestant. So let's go back to the dash store. And by the way, just before going there, let me actually take a look at how these look like. And upon looking here at these surfaces, they look very, very basic. There is some top code added, some reflectivity, but I just don't feel it has these advanced options or adjustments, right? This is just like a common some kind of settings in here that like a normal person would do. I just don't feel the this is the advanced, you know, shader I'm looking for. So the other one, select that, and um, is called Real Paints Iray. All right. 
again, promo images look always beautiful, right? They just look amazing, and we are thinking, wow, what a beautiful car paint. And, well, off to work we go. Back in Dash Studio, let's apply it. So I'm going to go back. This one is in a different folder. It's actually in the, um, you see here, uh, shader presets, I will really paint. There we go. So we've got three versions, Pro, Showroom, and Stock. Let's go to Stock first. Let's apply this one. And again, this one looks more, even less like a car paint. I just don't feel it. It's very, very plastic looking, all right? It's very bright towards the camera. Remember, a car paint should not reflect as much towards the camera. It should reflect more on the sides or away on the surfaces that are like 90 degrees away from the camera, right? So this feels way too much reflection going on and way too, well, like it's almost not reflecting. It's way too bright. Let me just change some options here. I mean, it's not a bad car paint. You can get it to look great at certain angles, but I just don't feel it. I don't feel the wow factor from this one. It's way too bright looking. So we got the showroom, which is more, more glossy, which looks slightly better. But again, the reflections are kind of off. I would say the showroom here is maybe the best of the bunch so far. I kind of like, but still the reflections are kind of off and I just don't feel the wow factor. All right, then we got the Pro. And well, it looks pretty good in white, especially. All right. This one is actually one of the best so far. The Pro looks pretty decent, right? But it's still something off. And um, they're like overall way too bright with the reflections. It just doesn't feel right. So the thing is, if now take a look at the surfaces. Again, these look very simplistic, right? There is just metallic. These are even more simplistic than the other ones we were just having a moment ago. Just some base color, some metallic options here. Um, and there is pretty much nothing else going on. And I'm a little bit, you know, kind of like, what is this? This is not a, you know, advanced car paint. Now, let's go back and let's choose. Let me just choose all these. Uh, and let's click on the main built-in iris shader for cars, right? Uh, we have that inside Dash Studio, it's under here. It's called Uber. Let's go car paint, right? Cherry, this is the built-in. This is, guys, the built-in free, okay? This looks, in my opinion, way better. Way better, way more advanced. The car just behaves differently, right? We just feel it just looks different and behaves differently. So I think these are beautiful. These that are available, um, kind of built in in IRA. These look amazing. But yet, they are not the best. But, you know, comparing the two we just, you know, head to head with the ones that are actually built in, the built in is way, way better. And Looking at the surfaces uh, of the built-in, it's a little bit more advanced, right? There's some metal flakes and so forth, top coat. And I think this is probably the best of the bunch, this one here. The, the, the built-in actually is better than the ones we, we took, take, took a look at. However, here's the big surprise. Let's remove the car and let's load the car back again. This is something truly shocking. I wasn't expecting this, but here's the thing. Let's go back and load the car. All right. And to my surprise, this looks the best. Completely, you know, 
smashes all the other three. This is just the best looking car paint ever. I mean, look at it. This is like a car paint should look like. This is truly amazing looking. And this comes with the car, guys. This comes with the car. This looks like a real car paint. This looks almost like a photo. And so I was like, man, all right, let's try the other ones. Let's check the options. We've got white gloss. Spectacular. Spectacular. This is like photo real, guys. Photo real in Dash Studio Arvid. Take a look at the car paint. Take a look at the reflections. The car is not reflecting in the front. Can you see that? The car is almost not reflecting anything at the front, but it's reflecting from the side. This is like a car paint should behave. And now if you take a look at the settings, it has some advanced settings here. Can you see that? It has some advanced settings. So this is a real car paint, in my opinion. This built-in, this is kind of funny, but this built-in um, shader for the car that is included with this particular car is the best looking of them all. It just looks incredible. And see how it shifts down the reflections over here? It's not that intense, right? It just works like a car paint. So I love this one. Just freaking amazing. It looks great. Looks like I'm I like a photo. I'm just blown away by this. So so I was thinking, okay, can we add this to other vehicles? So the question was kind of like, all right, if this is such a good car paint, can we use it on other vehicles? So let me copy, uh, sorry, let me go and uh, deselect this. And let's go ahead and load another vehicle. So I was thinking, okay, let me load something fun here. Um, let's load, for instance, the... Uh, The moon rod. This is kind of fun, right? We love the moon rod. Got to move it away slightly. Let's do 250 on it. All right. And now the Leon, which we just loaded, has dual surfaces. So we can just um, use a node surface selection, click here once, and then also hold down control. Just command the Mac, click here to uh, just include a little bit more items in that. Now we go back to the car and let's see, I already know this works because I've tested it, but the thing is it works so well, it's almost incredible, right? So we just click on shaded presets and you click on red and it changes its shader and it looks amazing. It looks amazing. So it works on other vehicles. Man, this is incredible. So let's, let's make that blue. It's kind of funny. That looks incredible. So guys, the winner is, to my big surprise, is actually the, the, the car paint shader that follows this amazing car. That is the best one. And it completely outperforms the built-in IRA, um, you know, I mean, the, the two we, we tested first, they come last. Then comes the built-in, which is way better than the two we tested first. But this one is the best of them all. This looks incredible. This virtually looks like a photoreal, you know, uh, render. The car paint is incredible, just incredible. So guys, to my surprise, I have to announce the winner is neither of the test contestants, but the car itself. So this car here from Matty Manx is the winner. It has the best car paint. And if you just look at it, it has so much incredible um, options that come with it. And there is a, a screenshot here. I'm just locate it. Just see how much uh, stuff you get uh, with the car. So I think the car is not just beautiful. It has so many options, always rotate easily and so that. Um, plus it has obviously 
we test that now, right? And we can see it on the on the these amazing uh, promo Im images. The thing is, promo images can sometimes lie because you can take um, a shader and put it in an environment that makes it look good, right? But here was a hands-on test in the same rough environment, and the car paint that follows the car wins by far. So guys, as you can see, the reflections are more intensified from the side. This is how a car paint should behave. Reflections on a car straight towards the camera are always lower. And that's why this wins and looks best. It doesn't look plastic, it looks for real. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Check out all the links below for more info on these incredible products. Um, have fun with your shaders. See you soon again.